Hi, I'm Ruben, and I'm from the Netherlands. And <gasps> and you're watching the Philip DeFranco show. This is a new show. Hello and welcome to the Wednesday Philip DeFranco Show. If you're not familiar, Monday to Thursday I save the world from mediocre news coverage and things and stuff. And the first thing we're gonna talk about today is Justin Bieber may have a baby? I mean baby baby, all oh, jokes aside, this is like the best news about Bieber ever. And so this is how the story goes. 20 year old Mariah Eater is claiming that Justin Bieber is her baby daddy. According to her story, Mariah went to a concert, was taken backstage, and then she just, you know, having a little fun with the Biebs. Started out as making out, turned into heavy and that's when Bieber looked her in the eyes and said, and I quote, let's take this to the bathroom. Bieber, you so classy in this hypothetical situation. And then this is where Yeeter claims that Bieber blew his baby batter in 30 seconds and was not wearing a condom. She now has a three-year-old baby, says that it's Bieber's, and a paternity test might actually take place. And once again, so happy. Main point, Bieber and his crew have denied it, but I really hope it's true. Even if it's because I secretly plan to lose 60 pounds and steal Selena, oh my God, that picture. And I lost my train of thought. So we move on and we move on to something that makes me way happier than Bieber's baby ever could, and that is Grand Theft Auto V finally has a trailer. Rockstar released it this morning, and this is what some of it looks like. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So my initial reaction is that, you know, it looks pretty. I think it's cool that it's gonna be based around like Los Angeles, but nothing really made me excited here. I know this is just focusing on the story. It's an introduction, but kinda, uh. That being said, I know that I'm gonna buy the game and I know they will release trailers that will make me way more excited. I just really wanted to be more excited today. I don't know, what do you think? Thoughts? Internet, I know you has them. Let me know. And from there we move on. And we move on to super happy fun time revolutionary type news, specifically Kim Jong-il and North Korea. And that is, Kim Jong-il has banned over 200 nationals from coming home from Libya. And that doesn't even include the hundreds of citizens who are over there for like nurses, doctors, road work. Can't come home. North Korea is saying, nah, no reason to come home. Just stay, stay put. And it seems that North Korean officials are worried that the people in Libya are going to come back and be like, oh, did you know that there's a thing called revolution? It's awesome. We should have one here. And then it kind of blows my mind, but also makes sense that only 1% of the people in North Korea even knows there was a revolution in Libya. And it seems like North Korea's reaction to all this change is to tighten the screws up at home. And I mean, 1% that blows my mind. And that's why I love what I do so much. I mean, I spread stories, I spread opinions, but I mainly spread awareness that something is happening and you should feel something about it. Also, I like to talk about hot girls. Big fan of that. But to Kim Jong-il and anyone else, you just have to remember, times are a-changing forever and always. And we move on. And we've arrived to the final story of the day, which is uh, a video is on the internet of Judge William Adams beating the hell out of his daughter with a belt. Now, in all fairness, it is not only Judge Adams, it is also his wife taking part. And it won't have any of the footage in this actual video. It is very bothering to watch this video. I do ask you to watch it after this. If it's hard to watch, stop. But here's how the story goes. In 2004, 16-year-old Hillary Adams had been beat by her parents several times. And a thing to note is that her father was a judge. And Judge William William Adams had several odd decisions when it came to child abuse cases. And to paraphrase Judge Adams saying the testimony of a child who is in a child abuse case doesn't matter. It all comes down to video evidence. So his daughter, Hillary, was like, okay, dad, I'm gonna film the next time you freak out. And on this specific night, Judge Adams and his wife were pissed off because their daughter installed a computer game. How dare she install a computer game? And for that, she was gonna get the belt. Now here's the thing. There is a difference between discipline and spanking and beating your child. And this guy beats his child the entire time he's screaming and just swinging the belt. You're talking arms, neck, back, legs. This is not a spanking, it is abuse. And if you watch this video, it will sicken you. Or rather, it at least should. On top of it, little 16-year-old Hillary has a toxic cerebral palsy. And it just makes me want to say things that you're not supposed to say about a public official. Now once again, before you start defending spankings, watch the video. Because what's kind of sad is that I think people are going to be like, oh, that's nothing. I got way worse. This isn't a big deal. It is. This is child abuse. And this really gets to me. And I talked about it on my blog today. It's because I experienced this as a child too. You're a child, you can't defend yourself and you have this person that's supposed to be your parent and they're filled with anger and they are just hurting you. And I mean, a lot of us that were beat as children, we kind of try to look at the silver lining. Like, well, I mean, I'm a decent person now and I was lucky enough that it wasn't beaten down to nothing and I was able to take that hatred and oh, it was a lot 
of hatred and put it into something that made my life okay. And I'm not looking for the, oh, Phil, you had such a bad childhood. No, I was never molested. I was never like the crazy stuff that can happen. But child abuse should not be something that's allowed. Because once again, there is discipline and there is abuse and there is a line and it can sometimes be blurred, but this is not a blurring of that line. Because all that beating did was beat the love out of me and show me that I was never going to be this person. Never gonna be that evil and angry. But it sucks because a lot of these kids get beaten down and they don't realize they have so much good in them. And sometimes what's even worse is the cycle repeats and then they beat their children. It sucks. And so what I do wanna say is that if you are in a situation where this is happening, you have to tell someone, specifically another adult. And if you are a parent that disciplines your child by beating them, you are one of the biggest wastes of life on this planet. That's really what it comes down to. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Should parents hit their children, not hit their children is there a line let me know what you think down below in the comments and from that terrible story we move on to that part where i give you something and it's not a beating in fact it's way better it's a 100 gift card to amazon.com choose your own prize of course to possibly get that thing thrown in your face leave a comment on this video that's all you gotta do of course if you want to like slash favorite slash do whatever you do to this video it is super appreciated and helps out the show a bunch but guys that's really everything that mattered to me this wednesday as always my name's philip defranco and you've just been filled in and i will see you tomorrow Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, it's Tuesday. I miss Lupocalypse. I was on a plane. Plane.